I really like cinema, and I kind of wanted to try it, so I'm giving myself 24 hours to make a full cinematic movie with only my phone. And the first thing to do was come up with a plot, so I'm gonna see what ChatGPT can do. Make me a cinematic short film plot. Yeah, that seems feasible. So I put on my shoes and I went on my way to start filming. So I came to this lake to film the first part of it. Honestly, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. When making this movie, I made sure to make everything look as cinematic as I physically could. And this was way harder because I was only using my phone. When I was filming this, I knew I would have to add a bunch of filters to make this look good, which you can see here actually turned out pretty well. But let's just say acting is not my strong suit, which means I knew when I was filming this, editing was really gonna have to save me. The next spot I'm filming is this pathway I found. Um, there's really nothing except a path. I really hope there isn't snakes in here because if there is, I'm gonna be dead. This was a pretty good spot to film this movie, but there was some problems. The only problem with this area is I don't really know how I'm gonna make this look like it's like a never ending forest because there's not really one of those around me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Also, I'm literally getting eaten alive by bugs. Like it's literally ridiculous. There's millions of them, I swear. Despite these problems, I still had to trek on and had to set some goals for myself. My goal for this is to be kind of like a psychological thing. Honestly, I don't really know how that's gonna work out, but I mean, I guess we'll see. You guys can tell me at the end. Filming for this project was really difficult because the only thing I could use was a tripod or me holding the camera, but that didn't look good most of the time. All the action shots like running and stuff were pretty hard to film because you couldn't really add momentum to them. And with this movie, I really wanted a lot of action and a lot of running. I also had a good amount of sequences that were on the ground, which was kind of annoying. Also because of the time constraint, I was very limited on props. So this compass that I got for my birthday will have to do. I'm about halfway through filming it right now. And honestly, I think I found a pretty decent plot. I changed it from what ChatGPT gave me, but I like mine more. So I don't want to give away too much of the movie. Um, I don't want to spoil you guys, but I had to, I had to fall quite a few times. I don't really know if it worked, but I thought it looked pretty decent for what I've seen. So I just wrapped up filming. As you can see, I'm like super sweaty because it's literally 100 degrees out here. So please like and subscribe for me putting up with this pain. But yeah, basically after filming that, since we're all done with the filming part of it, I'm gonna have to go and edit all this on my phone, not on my computer like I usually do. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. So I'm back at my house. I just got done filming. I'm gonna go take a shower because I got extremely dirty while filming and then it's time to edit. Little did I know that this was gonna get a lot harder. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting to a point now where I've just been editing for so long and I am exhausted because I just came back from a trip to Iceland. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to work through that pain, I guess. And uh, yeah. I gotta finish this today, so. Even though I literally just spent 21 hours traveling back from Iceland, I still had to finish this project that I set for myself. And there was a couple big problems that I faced with editing. How do I make this look cinematic when it was filmed on an iPhone? Luckily, that trip to Iceland might have come in handy a little bit. While I was in Iceland, I created a cinematic film of my own. I did this one to practice for this video and two because I really wanted to. However, I did learn a couple things while I was there. The key to making a film look cinematic when it's shot on an iPhone is the filters and sound design. Now, I did have an advantage in Iceland because it is literally just beautiful there and I'm working with this. But, you know, it, the same concept applies. So when I edited the film, I made sure to keep most of the background nature noises in because this creates a sense of environment. Here, I'll give you an example. Tell me which one sounds more cinematic. Now you might be thinking, you just turned down the volume. Well actually, I didn't. 
What I did was create artificial nature sound effects. I also enhanced the sound of my footsteps on the grass and made some water ripple noises. However, the big thing was getting my footage to go from this to this. And that was actually a lot easier than you might have thought. See, in CapCut, there are a bunch of preset filters that you can use, and a lot more if you have the pro version like me. Another little tip if you're trying to make cinematic videos is to use the cinematic setting on your camera if you have it. All right, I just finished editing the video, and honestly, I am a big fan of this. Hopefully it makes sense to you guys, but here you go. doesn't end. <laughs> you guys enjoyed this i know the plot was a little hard to follow but that's what you get when you only have 24 hours to make a movie if i ever did this again i would definitely take more time to spend on writing out the plot and not just making it up as i go because honestly i think the filmmaking was pretty decent the sound design was good but the main thing was just it was kind of hard to follow if you didn't understand it basically the plot was supposed to be this guy goes hiking and his compass makes him get lost. It starts raining, he starts storming, then he falls over, gets knocked out, wakes up, and then he realizes that he's in this forest that just never ends and it just keeps going, it keeps going. But honestly, I could have done a little better with that. Hope you guys still liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.